what's up. So I wanted to show you uh, this really bad kill I just made. And it honestly feels amazing. I've had a lot of food, so I need certain builds to help me play for long range guns. And I'm messing around with the attachments for this gun and I think I just made one of the best builds and I have some proof of why. Now we can go ahead and get straight into the build right now. This is what I have put on my razor back. And I am running the tanker barrel. The tanker barrel gives you vertical and horizontal recoil control for 14%. So that is why I'm running this. This gun has a lot of recoil, so you want to try to minimize it as much as you can. The next attachment for this gun is what is going to help it even more, and that is the H1 precision comb. It gives you aiming stability and recoil steadiness. But the thing is, it gives you 7% vertical and horizontal recoil control. So combine that together, that is 20% for, for both of them. Both of those attachments combined. Yes, you will be a little bit slower. I'm not going to lie, you will ADS slower, but for this gun, it might be worth it. I got my 60 mag on, that's the one you want because this gun just eats through bullets. I got the SE recharge. I tune that all the way to far in ADS speed. The comb, I tuned it for recoil stabilization and aiming auto stability. But if you want, you could put it down to ADS speed. But I want this gun to be as steady as it possibly can. So when I'm shooting, it's just, it feels like there's an F-Tag Ripper on it, you know? And for the last attachment, I have decided to go for the Mono Suppressor. This suppressor gives you, I believe, like 3% or like 4 I think it's like 4.5, 4.6 vertical and horizontal recoil control and that is going to stack up with these attachments and it gives you just a little bit more damage range I think it's about like 5 5 exact or 4 it's not much but it is at least a little bit but if you are more comfortable you could use the harbinger this one gives you 3% recoil control and if you can control the gun already then I suggest you use that but since I'm a console player, I like how this build feels, so I'm going to try to run it like this. I have not run it in a game yet, but in the firing range, it just feels really good. It is easy to manage, easy to control, very easy. So if you combine that, that's like... That's like 24 or 25% recoil control on each and every attachment combined. And then it just makes this gun not move at all. But like I said, you could run a Harbinger on it if you think you can control it. Just for that more damage range. But the fire rate for this gun is what I think is gonna help out and like I'm just easily controlling and the ADS is slow but it's not to a really slow point plus if you want it faster you can just tune it to be faster and like it's just really manage I can't even see it over there
I have been trying to make me a, a class with this gun, but I've always wanted a suppressor on it. I would run the barrel and then like a second trid. And I would, I believe it was high velocity. And that would be my build with the aiming sight on the 60 round. You do feel a lot slower with this, but... If you could manage it, I'm pretty sure you could just get used to it, you know? Because I think I'll get used to it. I'm going to start running this. But yeah, man, like, as you see, like, I'm easy. See, that's whenever I probably need the Harbinger right there. So that we can mess up my aim a little bit. And it's just like really easy, man. So. I hope y'all can give this a try. Cause I really like how this feels. I have not used it yet, as I said. But how easy it is to use, it just, I feel like I, I'll be able to get some kills with this. So if y'all wanna try it out, go ahead. Thanks for watching if you did. Deuce.